All right, what's going on everybody? Back again today. I'm just gonna do an update on my Marvel toy collection, which is predominantly consists of Marvel Legends figures. Uh, there's a few Marvel Select figures thrown in through here, but I will point those out when we get to it. So starting here, I had to get a new smaller shelf for my MCU figures because my comics characters collection just got too big and took up all three layers of that shelf. So starting from left to right, we've got uh, the old school Scarlet Witch or just Wanda Maximoff. I'm going to get the uh, WandaVision version because it actually has her in a more comic book accurate source material inspired outfit. We've got Vision back there. That Vision figure is fine. Uh, it's really fine. The, the cape is really the only bad thing about it. Like the cape is really thick and stiff. It's not pliable and bendy at all. So it really kind of interferes with the uh, posability of this vision. But for the purposes of like how I display my figures just in kind of like a basic kind of portrait stance display, it doesn't really matter. I just stick him in there behind Wanda and he looks fine. Back behind him, we've got Wasp. She turned out really nice. And despite the fact that she's got some like bigger, they're not super big, but the despite the fact that she's got some wings on her back, they really don't make her all that back heavy, and she actually stands up pretty well. Uh, Doctor Strange, this is the first 10 years uh, three-pack version of Doctor Strange that came with Iron Man and Thanos. This is the better version. He looks like more like Benedict Cumberbatch in the face. My only gripe with this is I wish he'd have come with like an alternate arm so that he wasn't like these mystical magic effects those are permanently attached like you can never display him without those it looks fine i just wish we'd had the, for for what we paid i mean i know we got three figures but i wish they would have had the uh the option to display him without the effects and then we've got spider-man i know there's been a lot of different versions of spider-man this is the most basic one and this is the one that i'm always going to display i know that in this day and age that with movies and TV shows and video games and whatnot, the kind of thing to do is to put characters in a bunch of different outfits, because then you can make more merchandise based on all the different looks of the character. But I just want one really good definitive look for each character, and clearly this is the definitive quintessential Spider-Man look, so that's the one that I've got, and that's the one that I will always display. Behind him we've got Ant-Man, and then behind Ant-Man we've got, this is a Marvel Select Armored Thanos. I just thought it turned out nicer than the Marvel Legends Armored Thanos. And plus, I'm not into the whole Build-A-Figure concept because, you know, I've never seen a wave of figures where I get it, it's supposed to be like, even if you don't like every figure in the wave, you like the Build-A-Figure enough to buy every figure in the wave so you can build the Build-A-Figure. Fuck that, you know what I mean? It's like, imagine this, well, it'd be more like this Thanos. This Thanos was originally a Build-A-Figure. This is not the version of it that is a Build-A-Figure. But this, to buy six figures, that I, the majority of which I don't like, just to get this guy? No. I'll, I'll find an alternative where I can just get the one figure that I like. You know what I mean? It's, uh, it's not, it's not uh, beneficial to me to buy an entire wave just to do a Build-A-Figure. And then on top of that, like if I just want the Build-A-Figure to buy it off of eBay or like Facebook Marketplace or somewhere afterwards, like to buy it completely assembled, it's always way too much money. So I'm the guy that like, I'm not gonna buy the Build-A-Figures. I'm not gonna do the Build-A-Figures. I will just find a Marvel Select or some other kind of alternative for my bigger figures that I can use to fit into the display. And this armored Thanos did just that. I do have his weapon, his sword somewhere, but I just don't have it displayed with him right now. And then this is also another Marvel Select Iron Man. I am really big on the idea that if we look at like Daredevil here, that is your average human being. That's supposed to be your average size human being. I get it, he's wearing some kind of body armor, but for the most part, Punisher is also right next to him. And then Iron Man, I get it later on down the road, he starts to wear like the nano suit armor to where it's just like a thin, a second thin layer of skin. 
I, I've never really liked that look for Iron Man as much as like him actually being in like a metal plated suit of armor. Cause he's, he's like his whole like tagline name is the invincible Iron Man. And when he's in the full like plated suit of armor, high tech plate suit of armor, that's when he really looks like invincible and really strong. So with a lot of the Marvel Legends Iron Man figures, they're not that much bigger than like your standard average human body figure. But we're expected to go like, oh, okay, so that, like this Captain America will be standing right next to a Marvel Legends Iron Man, and the Iron Man won't be that much bigger. And we're like, wait a minute, but isn't the Iron Man supposed to be pretty much like this, but encased in a full plate suit of high-tech armor? Yeah, so that's why I use a Marvel Select. So a lot of people tell me that it looks out of scale. I don't think so, because I'm thinking about it as like, it's like if we took this guy and we put him in a high-tech suit of like, really thick durable metal plate armor and so he would be bigger and bulkier this marvel select iron man is more on in scale with thor he's about the same height as thor thor has an excuse for being that much taller than an average human he's a fucking god from asgard so that makes sense uh so yeah i use this marvel select iron man i am contemplating getting a marvel legends movie iron man just for simplicity's sake this this is i think the best movie select iron man in my opinion, and it's not that great. The hip joints are kind of like shitty, but it's worked so far for quite a while. This is like, in my opinion, this is the best movie Thor. Just pretty much captures the quintessential look of the character. He's got Mjolnir back there. I know that the Netflix series have all been canceled, but I really hope that they bring, namely Daredevil and Punisher back in some way whether it's on Disney Plus or they just start using the characters in other movies. Like, I loved the Netflix Daredevil. I loved the character that they did on that show. I loved Punisher. So I still consider them part of the MCU, even though we're not gonna, as of right now, we're not gonna be getting any more of them. But yeah, I still really like them. So we got Daredevil, Elektra, and Punisher there. There's Infinity War, Unarmored Thanos. Like I said, this is the one that came in the uh, three pack with Doctor Strange and Iron Man. Much better figure than the Build-A-Figure, and I didn't have to build him, so, yeah. Infinity Gauntlet looks pretty good. And then we've got Black Panther looking awesome. You can't really go wrong with Black Panther. I Am I the only one who preferred his, like, Civil War costume and look in comparison to, like, how he looks now? Like, I'm just... I know it's really, it's a lot easier to do on the movie makers side of things to just put them in like a CGI bodysuit and then everyone, everyone's got it now. Spider-Man, well Iron Man's dead, but Spider-Man, Iron Man, Black Panther, uh, Star-Lord, they've all got the, the, the type of superhero costume where it just kind of like appears on their body. It's like nanotech and it just appears all over their face or wherever they need it to show up. Uh, I'm sorry, I liked the actual costume look better, so that's... That's my Black Panther. And then behind him, we've got Captain Marvel. So, just a pretty basic Mohawk Captain Marvel. So there we go. Still need to get a Hulk, a Black Widow, a Hawkeye. Those are my main concerns. Uh, what else? Quite a few others actually, but those are my main concerns as of right now. But I have been more preoccupied with my comic book Marvel collection. As you can see, we'll start up at the top on the villain's shelf. Uh, this Prowler is from the Spider-Verse movie, but I like the color scheme and the look of the costume better than the actual comic book Prowler figure, so this is the one that I've got here on the shelf. We've got the Venom Deluxe figure, easily, in my opinion, hands down the best Venom figure ever made. MODOK from the original Toy Biz Marvel Legends line. I've... I picked this guy up because I saw him at the store loose. He was for a good price. And I thought this might be my only chance to get a decent MODOK figure. Cause the new one that Hasbro was putting out in my head, I was thinking like, it's going to be hard to find and it's going to be expensive on the secondary market. Turns out it's not hard to find. I've seen them everywhere. Uh, but I don't know. It's MODOK. He, you know, they, they kind of, Toy Biz kind of nailed it the first time. Yes, the, the Hasbro one comes with a couple extra things that make it nice, like interchangeable faces. But, you know, MODOK's MODOK to me. This one, it, it was good when Toy Biz made it, and it's still good today. So, there's MODOK. 
This is a Marvel Select Thanos. Easily, hands down, the best comic book Thanos figure ever made. Like, the Marvel Legends one cannot hold a candle to this. It's got the Infinity Gauntlet with all the stones in it. Just, it, it's way better. So this is my Thanos figure from my Marvel Comics characters display. Doctor Doom, possibly the greatest Marvel Legends figure that we've gotten in the last 10 years. In terms of just the, the, the level of quality, attention to detail and everything that was put into this guy. Good stuff. Malekith, not a really big popular character that I give a shit about, but I don't know. I liked the color scheme on him, so I got him, and he was loose, so he wasn't too expensive. And then Mysterio, another really good figure with a lot of attention to detail. Really like Mysterio there. Spider-Man Far From Home showed us that Mysterio can be a worthy adversary if done right. I know most of the time in the comic books, he's kind of played as this, like, sad, pathetic, like, second-rate villain, almost like the Riddler. But, yeah, I'm glad to have him. A lot more villains I need to get. I, I've been seeing the Red Skull, Dormammu, and Lady Deathstrike in stores. And the Red Skull and Lady Deathstrike, I know I need to get. I need to just bite the bullet and pick those up. The Dormammu, I'm not sure. I'm, I'm still on the fence of whether or not I'd rather have the Dormammu build a figure. I think it would look better. But anyway, coming down here to my main Avengers shelf, you will see that there's a gap here. That's where Iron Man is supposed to go. There is a new Iron Man figure on the way. So that gap will be filled shortly. But in the meantime, I've gotten pretty much every other Avenger. The only ones that I'm missing are Black Panther, and Ant-Man. Ant-Man is also on his way in the mail. But you can see here, Doctor Strange, old school Quicksilver. I know there's a better Quicksilver out there, but I don't care enough about the character to really like hunt him down and buy him offline. If I find him in a, at a convention or a toy show or something, the better one, I'll probably pick it up and then sell this guy. But for now, he's a good placeholder. Got Scarlet Witch back there on a flight stand. The Sentry, I really like that character. I wish they'd have just given him a better cape. Uh, it's kind of the cape, they kind of went cheap on the cape. Retro Spider-Man, which is pretty much just the new definitive Marvel Legends Spider-Man in any collection. Uh, this War Machine is actually from the Avengers Endgame movie line, but they they kind of fucked it up because I guess the the, the concept art that they got ahead of the movie to make figures off of, showed him in a more War Machine paint color scheme. And then in the movie, when he wore this armor, it was actually more like Iron Patriot, but they'd already made the figure. They went back later on and made a more Iron Patriot version. But this, the look of this armor with this color scheme never occurred in a Marvel movie. So I use him as part of my Marvel Legends. That's my Marvel Legends comic book War Machine. He's big, he's bulky, he looks deadly and dangerous. He's got the big cannon on his shoulder. It looks good. Black Widow from the Retro Wave. A nice update to Black Widow. We hadn't gotten a Black Widow since like 2010. 80th Anniversary Hulk. Great figure, probably the best Marvel Legends Hulk figure ever made. 80th Anniversary Captain America. Really good figure. Um, couple things. There are a couple paint defects on mine that I had to fix. And then also, I know that like they do this a lot with uh, figures to make the articulation really good, but like I'm nitpicky. So see. the way that the head rests on the neck, like I don't like a lot of this skull hanging off and there being a gap between the neck. I know that's really nitpicky. And I know that's made so that like when you tilt his head back, it'll go back really far. But I just think, and when you're looking at him just like this in your basic portrait display, you can't really tell. So best Captain America figure out there, but still little stuff like that bothers me, especially for what's supposed to be like an 80 and 80 year anniversary figure, like a more like top of the line figure. I, I, I was expecting less flaws, but I've fixed most of the paint defects and I can overlook the, the way the head sits on the neck. Not really a big deal. 
This is the Thor from the first Return of Marvel Legends Hasbro wave. Other than the, uh, this is my definitive Thor look for the comics. Other than uh, the Marvel Now helmet, I think it looks better. I have kind of thought about getting the Marvel Now Thor and doing a head swap, which would probably make me my most definitive looking Thor of all time. But it's a, that's, that's a lot of money to spend just to get the head. You know what I mean? Got Namor back there. Um, not a really well-known character. He has yet to have his day in the MCU. And I, I wonder if he ever really will. Probably not. But he is a pretty classic Marvel Avengers type character. So I picked him up. Hawkeye. Basic classic Hawkeye. Winter Soldier. Miss Marvel. Uh, I like the color scheme on her. And she was available at the store. It wasn't too expensive. So I grabbed her. Pretty basic Captain Marvel, Mohawk again, got Falcon back there, and Wasp. Uh, note to Hasbro, not that I think any of them are watching, but you guys need to understand that with characters that have some kind of wings on the figure, go ahead and include a flight stand. Like, you can raise the price a little bit, we'll pay it, because it, it, they're going to need it characters like falcon even though the wing he can be displayed standing up the wings don't make him fall over the wings do take up a lot of room if he was elevated on a flight stand it would leave a lot of room left on the shelf for another figure wasp is the same deal except on top of that her shit like her wings just make her fall over she won't even stand up very well on her own two feet so she has to be in a flight stand and then uh archangel down here kind of the same deal as uh falcon and on that note, we'll come down here to this bottom shelf. This is, it's kind of over here, starts out Fantastic Four. I still need to get the Silver Surfer. And then we move into X-Force slash X-Men characters, the more mutant characters. We got Deadpool, a lot of the classic X-Force, Shatterstar, Boom Boom, Domino, uh, X-23, and then Warpath. I gave him some custom Bowie knives from, I got off eBay. And then we move into more my X-Men, which so far all I've got is Iceman, Wolverine, Rogue, Gambit, and Archangel. Um, as soon as I finish the Avengers display, as soon as I get... The only one I still need in my mind is Black Panther. Like I said, Ant-Man's already on the way. As soon as Ant-Man shows up, the new Iron Man shows up, and I finally get a good Black Panther, I'm going to consider my Avengers display done for now, and I'm going to move into completing the X-Men. And then after that, I will move into completing, well, another area of my Marvel split, uh, collection, which is not currently over here. I ran out of room. That is my more, what I call street level characters, my Marvel Knights slash Defenders. We've got Elektra, Daredevil, Moon Knight, and Iron Fist. Other characters I tend to get in this kind of vein of Marvel is Punisher, Luke Cage, uh, who else? Ghost Rider couple other characters that are more like they're the darker characters the more street level characters stuff like that and then of course i'm gonna get a there's gonna be a lot more villains that i have to get uh spider-man villains avengers villains ultron kingpin um i do want a galactus but i'm really butthurt because the haslab galactus is clearly the be-all end-all galactus to get but I have a lot of feelings about that HasLab project, the Galactus. I think it is overpriced. I think it is unrealistic and unreasonable. Uh, I could get into that a lot. That's a separate video, but just suffice it to say, um, yeah, I think it's overpriced. But anyway, that's my Marvel toy collection. It's predominantly Marvel Legends. It has grown quite a bit since the last video. I know in the last video showing off this room in the collection, I said that I was going to be moving. Uh, I didn't. Things turned out differently. I ended up staying where I am for now, and for the foreseeable future, we will be staying here, so, yeah. MCU collection, what I have so far, Fantastic Four, X-Men, X-Force, Avengers, and Villains. So yeah, that's my Marvel toy collection. Let me know what you guys think. Leave some comments below. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Check out some of my other videos. Maybe subscribe to the channel if you like, and other than that, I will see you guys next time.